Hey everyone, it's Alex on the Block, and today I'll be talking about the books that I'll be reading this May. So May is Asian Heritage Month, and I will be participating in the Asian Readathon. So the Asian Readathon is hosted by Read with Cindy. So she's a popular booktuber, and she made this readathon for everyone. So if you're not Asian, you could, of course still participate. This year is my first time to be participating in the Asian Readathon and I'm so freaking excited. Oh my goodness. So as you can see, I'm wearing this top and it's actually a Filipiniana top. So a Filipiniana is a traditional outfit or attire here in the Philippines. So I wore this on my graduation. So yeah. I'm just wearing the top, I'm not wearing the skirt because you can't see it. Let's just pretend I'm also wearing my skirt. Also, as you can see, my hair is curled in this side and it's not <laughs> curled here. That's because I'm lazy. So back to the topic at hand, yes, I'll be participating in the Asian Readathon and the Asian Readathon has a lot of amazing prompts and these prompts are made flexible this year because of the coronavirus pandemic so not everyone can go outside and buy books from the bookstore or peruse the bookshelves in the bookstore or the bookshelves in the library, stuff like that. So. For the purpose of this video, I'll be talking about ebooks. So, obviously, I can't buy books right now. I can't go outside. Our lockdown has been extended until May 15th. So, I'll be staying at home until that time. So, all of the books that I'll be um, reading for the readathon are ebooks. Either I found on Scribd or somewhere else, but Scribd is the primary source of ebooks that I will be talking about right now. So at the end of this video, I'll also be talking about my Asian book recommendations, and I've got a lot of them over here. So yeah, I'm very excited to recommend them to you because. The first prompt for this readathon is actually very simple and it's to read any book by an Asian author. And for this prompt, I picked The Tokyo Zodiac Murders by Soji Shimada. So I just learned about this book recently and it's it sounds so good. It's a murder mystery and it's about the Japan Times astrologer, fortune teller, and self-styled detective Kiyoshi Mitarai must in one week solve a mystery that has ba baffled Japan for 40 years. Who murdered the artist Umezawa, raped and killed his daughter, and then chopped up the bodies of six others to create Azoth, the supreme woman. So this has map maps, charts, and other illustrations so you can unravel the mystery and try to solve it on your own. And it just sounds like such a great book and oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I think this is in Scribd. Yeah, I think that's where I discovered this book, Scribd. And then the next prompt is to read a book featuring an Asian character or is written by an Asian author who you can relate to. So you can literally um, pick an Asian author with the same uh, nationality as you or uh, the same gender or the same sexual orientation and stuff like that. So for this prompt, I picked the wick- oh no, there's no the. <laughs> it's Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. So I picked this because Kat Cho is female and I am female. So I've heard about this book so many times on booktube, on book Twitter, on bookstagram and I've never ever tried to read it but now I'm actually super interested to read this book and this book is about this gumiho or a nine-tailed mythical creature a nine-tailed fox who must devour the energy of men in order to survive because so few believe in the old old tales anymore and with so many evil men no one will miss the modern city of Seoul is the perfect place to hide and hunt so this is the Gumiho is Gumiyong 
and this she crosses paths with Ji Hun, who is a human boy, and then their lives became linked. And yes, this book is super interesting. It feels like the old K drama, if you know what I'm talking about. It's My Girlfriend is a Gumiho, and it was such a freaking popular Korean drama before. Also, for this prompt, I picked The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman. And this book, I was debating on whether I'll still include this book or not, but it's very. It has piqued my interest, it has piqued my mystery loving heart. And it's about this girl named Violet Saunders, Sanders Saunders, um, who doesn't have much hope of fitting in at her new school in Four Paths. And then she becomes friends with these four kids or teenagers who are also children of founder families and she sees the otherworldly destruction they can wreak. So she starts to wonder if the townsfolk are right to be afraid of the children of the founder families. Apparently, bodies start to appear in the woods and the, the locals become downright hostile. And the book is about the teenagers, all of them, trying to solve the mystery of four paths and their their own part in it before another calamity strikes. It sounds like the wicked deep but without the witches. And then the next prompt is to read a book featuring an Asian character or written by an Asian author who is different from you. So for this I picked Blood Air by Emily Wen Zhao because the author is Chinese I believe and I'm not Chinese, so it still counts. So yeah. So Blood Air is about this empire wherein affinities are reviled, and then the princess of this empire, she's been hiding inside the palace all these years because of her blood affinity, and then her father, who is the emperor, died, and she was framed for his murder, I believe. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. She was framed for his murder and now she must go and seek who killed her father and so yes. It sounds like your typical amazing empire adventure thing kind of like that. The last prompt is to read a book recommended by an Asian and for this one I picked Permanent Record by Mary H.K. Choi because this one has been recommended by Books with Chloe for like a few times already. I think I've watched a couple of videos where she talks about this book so it really interests me. So it's basically about this pop star who meets this regular guy and then they, they meet at 4 a.m. in the middle of a snowstorm in Brooklyn. So they know, they both know they can't be together forever, so they keep things on the down low and off Instagram for as long as they can. But it takes about three seconds before the world finds out, and I feel like it's just going to be a cutesy story, and yes. I mean, all of these, all of the previous books that I've picked are quite heavy compared to this one, so I just wanted a light-hearted one in case I want to cleanse my reading palette. I mean, do you guys do that? Because I do that. Like after reading heavy fantasy or something that's very dark and gruesome, I want to read like a light contemporary after that. So the Asian readathon also has a little fires everywhere. Read along and watch along and I'll probably participate in that as well because Little Fires Everywhere sounds like a good book and that's literally my reason for all of these. They sound like good books. I think I will also be doing a reading vlog on Asian books that I've never heard of before. So watch out for that because I've um, discovered a lot of gems on Scribd. Like all of those books, why have I never heard of them before? I mean, if they turn out to be great, bonus points for everyone. <laughs> all right, so on to the books that I recommend. I and I've got like quite a lot of books over here so the first book is <laughs> the first book is my new 
favorite book ever and it's A Little Life by Hanyaya Nagihara and oh my goodness, look at these tabs. So A Little Life is about these four college friends who have different lives and different personalities and have different issues in life and this book follows them in their like in the majority of their lives it kind of focuses on one of them who is jude and it's just i don't want to um explain this a lot because i want you to feel what i felt mm, it's just heart crushing like so the next one is this one, so The Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan, and my copy is pretty banged up, and it's, uh, it has a plastic cover, and it has my name, and my second year high school section, class section, because we've read this in second year high school, and this is one of the best books that I've read. It's about these four women, I believe. I've actually... It's been so long since I've read this, but it's about these four women and their daughters. And then they have this mahjong club called the Joy Luck Club. And it just follows their lives. It follows um, their sacrifices in life, their experiences. It follows the mother and daughter's relationships. And it's just such a great book. And it's pretty short. We've, yeah, we read this in second year so this is just a great book and i've i haven't seen anyone on book twitter or booktube talking about this book ah you guys are just missing out so good so good and then the next book is i believe in a thing called love by marine gu and i've talked about this book before it was one of my favorite books i believe from last year was it I love this book. It's a light contemporary book. It's about Desi Lee. Yeah, Desi Lee. So it's about Desi Lee who uses Korean drama as a formula to get um, a guy, I, I believe that's what. Yeah. Armed with her K drama steps to true love, Desi goes after the moody, elusive artist Luca Dracos. It's just super funny. The character is very funny. And yeah, I like this book. And then the next one is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Ngan. So this book is about Lei and she has golden eyes which has piqued the interest of the Demon King. And she was sent to the palace to become uh, kind of like a concubine. I forgot what they were called. She was shipped off to the palace and then she falls in love. And yes, oh my god. And then the next one is my absolute favorite contemporary series and it's the crazy rich asian series and look i have different sized books does that bother you because it bothers me so much so anyway yes the crazy rich asian series out of all of these i think my favorite one is this one china rich girlfriend crazy rich asians if you haven't read the book and if you don't want to read the book maybe watch the movie because the movie is also phenomenal and it's just stunning it's gorgeous it's so good yes so crazy rich asians follows this family who is crazy rich obviously and it follows this girl who is the girlfriend of one of the sons of this family and it just sparks a huge scandal because she's not crazy rich she's not rich rich she's not rich and yeah it's about their love life but also it's about all of their family's issues and drama and it's just super good it's super good i can't stress this enough but oh my goodness everyone should read this like their family is crazy 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 like look at this this is their family tree this whole page oh my goodness and it also shifts characters so for for example in chapter 7 it's about eleanor in singapore and then in chapter 
chapter 13 Philippine Eleanor Young Sydney Australia and Singapore so it's just such a good book and I actually want to read this because it's so good it's one of my favorites ever 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 yes so those are my books to read in May and my Asian book recommendations. So watch out for my reading vlog of me reading Asian books that I've never heard of before because I feel like a lot of those books are actually going to be phenomenal. So thank you for watching this video. Give a like and share some Asian book recommendations you have in the comments down below or if you've heard or read some of these books. Let me know what you think about the characters, about the plot, about the books, about the atmosphere, about the genres, about everything. Also, if you want to chat with me more about books you're reading this May, um, follow my socials down below. They're linked down below as well. It's just Alex on the block without the block part. The block part is BLK. So Alex on the BLK on Twitter and Instagram. Follow me there and we'll chat about books.